Hello and welcome back to another video on my channel. I'm Tom Rouse and I'm going to be talking very, very quickly about the new Wolves home shirt. I'm recording this on Thursday night. I've had a quick sneak peek of it um, hanging up in the changing room. Uh, it looks as if there's going to be some sort of event where it is uh, formally shown off. Uh, I'm not sure if that's genuine yet. The club has been... An, building up to some sort of big announcement throughout this week. They've released the new website, which looks quite clean. There doesn't seem to be anything new that stands out from it, but it looks fresh and clean and has brought us up, I think, amongst some other clubs who've got better websites than we have. And there's also been a change in the way that matches are delivered and commentated on at the club. We are no longer part of the Wolves player. Uh, that's been disbanded and there's going to be an I think it's called I Follow, which is an EFL project which is going to allow people from all around the world to be able to watch all of the Wolves games uh, for a small fee. So the kit itself, it's a Wolves kit, it's golden black. People will moan about the colours because it's not traditional old gold, it's quite orangey again. The collar is always a main bugbear for some people as well. They don't like the collars up like that or they, some people don't like the small collars. It's another small collar, little button-up number, but the most annoying thing for it, and the reason I won't be buying it, is because of the money shop is still the sponsor, which is something that we knew was going to happen. There's an agreement, there's a contract been signed between Wolves and the money shop, and of course, we have to honour that contract, and they pay us uh, an amount, but I will not be giving my money to the club in that way. So what I'm going to do, and what I would like to encourage lots of you to do as well, if you want, I know that some people will buy the shirts regardless of what is on the front, but I'm going to go out and I'm going to buy a retro shirt for next season because I didn't buy a shirt last season, uh, which was the first time in a long time that I hadn't, and won't be doing it again this season, but I will be supporting the club by buying a retro shirt. I don't know how long the deal with the money shop is going on for, but I expect that Fosun will be the sponsors in the, uh, when that deal ends. Or, or at least one of their sister companies, if you will. One of the clo uh, companies that are underneath the massive umbrella that is Fosun. Uh, the reason I'm not supporting the money shop as well is because I think that companies like that, loan sharks, if you will, pry on pe people who are vulnerable. Like, their extortionate rates of interest and stuff. I'm not an ex expert on anything financial by any stretch of the imagination but I fundamentally disagree with the idea of payday loans and pawning and things like that don't agree with it so I'm not going to support it I'm sure there are lots of you who agree with me and I'm sure there's lots of you who disagree with me I think it's been quite a contentious issue between Wolves fans over the last season but I'm still supporting the club I still enjoy watching the players playing in whatever kit they wear, but I just don't want to wear a brand like that. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Let me know if you like the new shirt, if you dislike the new shirt, and make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel because there will be another transfer update video coming up very, very shortly. So thank you very much. See you next time. Bye-bye.